Hey what is up everyone I hope all of you are doing great and as you know the JE mains for the March attempt answer key has been released so please let me know how much you are getting and what percentile you are expecting this time. So in today's question we have an elastic conducting wire of length L0 and force constant K is secured between two nails N1 and N2. Okay. On a horizontal frictionless table top in presence of a strong uniform magnetic field of induction B pointing vertically upwards. Okay, So this is the top view of the situation. Uh, now a constant current I is switched on in the wire that flows from the nail N1 to N2. Okay, So what stationary shape will the wire assume? Okay, Now we have already done this type of question once and we know that the in stationary situation the shape will be circular because as we know for a given length for a given length the circumf oh sorry the surface area of a circle would be maximum and uh, in the circular shape the force is equally distributed resulting in a stable sh situation so in stationary shape the wire would be a part of a circle. Okay. The second question they are asking that what should be the range of force constant k of the wire so that the wire assumes a stationary shape. Okay. So we need to find out the range of k, possible range of k so that the wire will attain a stationary shape. Now we will have a minimum k and we would have a maximum k. So, what is the case of minimum k? Now, if the current is increased, okay, if we are increasing the current, the wire will start taking a shape of a circular portion, okay, of a circular arc actually. Let this one be the actual length L0, this one was nail N1, this one N2, this one is the center of the circle, let the radius of the circle be R, so this one is the imaginary portion and this one is the stretched wire, okay. So actually the current is flowing in this way, I, fine. So in this situation there is a tension acting along the tangential direction at N1 and N2 points. Let us consider this angle as theta. So this one would be theta, this one would be theta. Okay. The force due to the magnetic field present acting on the wire is in the vertically upward direction and that would be IB times this length L0. So considering the stationary situation of the wire we can balance the force in the vertical direction. So, we could write T sin theta plus T sin theta that gives you 2 T sin theta which is balanced by I B L naught. Okay. Now, if you check properly that net force at this point is 0 and if we consider this whole wire like a spring and let x be the extension of the spring then there would be a force due to the spring in the opposite direction let that be kx so basically the tension is balanced by the spring force okay so we can write 2 times kx sin theta equals to ibl naught so k equals ibl naught divided by 2x sin theta okay so x is generally the stretching so, for any given theta, the stretching would be the length of the arc minus the initial length. So, the length of the arc is 2 r theta okay, minus the initial length was L0, so minus L0. So, our final expression becomes k equal to i b l naught divided by 2 to r theta minus l naught times sin theta. Okay. So, 
let us check again this diagram and if we consider this triangle we can write that r sin theta is equal to this length that is l naught by 2 ok. So, r sin theta equals l naught divided by 2. So, we can modify this equation as 2 and if you put sin theta into the bracket. So, r sin theta gives you l naught divided by 2 theta minus l naught sin theta ok. So, 2 gets cancelled out i b l naught divided by 2 theta minus 2 sin theta times l naught and we have i b 2 times theta minus sin theta ok. So, this is our value of k which varies with theta. Now, we need to find out the range ok. Now, there can be two extreme situations ok. In our first situation means the first extreme situation can be that this string or the wire does not stretch as much that means it forms a very small portion of a very large circle ok. So, basically this theta the theta the value of theta tends to 0 ok is very small actually it would not be exactly 0 because if for the being a very small stretching k must be very large that means k must tends to infinity ok. And another extreme situation can be that the wire is stretching and keeps on stretching and ultimately forms a part of a very large circle ok. But there is a huge amount of stretching here ok. So, this is the final situation of the wire I hope you can understand that means that the value of theta has extended to pi ok. So, if k is very small the value of theta will extend to pi. So, the minimum value of k will get when theta tends to pi. So, we will just do the put the value of theta in this solution we will get k minimum equals i b divided by 2 times pi minus 0. So, that is i b divided by 2 pi. So, the value of k must be greater than i b divided by 2 pi and the value of k can be increased till infinity ok. So, these are the two extreme situation as you can see fine. So, this will be our final answer. So, I hope you all have found this video helpful and informative. If you like the video, do like the do share with your friends and teachers, do subscribe the channel, show some support and thank you very much. Peace.